I have made a lot of modifications to my Land Rover Defender, and now I'm here at the Iowa Jeep Show. They have a permanent obstacle course here. Let's test out the modifications and see how well this Land Rover performs.
go forward just a little bit. Oh, a little bit more. One more. Oh, you have a new seat in the air. <laughs> There you go, straight, a little bit driver. There you go. Okay, you're on the sliders, but you're coming up. Okay, back tires climbing, a little bit driver, a little driver, you're gonna slide in, a little driver, a little more driver. Yep, there you go. Coming off, onto the sliders. That was an eye-opening first outing with the Defender. I was able to do all of the obstacles except for the rock gardens. Unfortunately, the rock garden started to rip off my mud flaps. So I either need to stay out of rock gardens or increase my ride height somehow. I'm back at the shop now. Let's put the Defender in the air and take a look at any damage that might have happened underneath. Let's start by taking a look at the front. There's a couple scratches here. This is from a previous off-roading event. Looks like I did not get any new significant scratches there. On the skid plate, you can see this corner here really took a good impact into the mud and the dirt. You can see the dirt hanging onto that bolt there. So I should probably switch those bolts to bolts that are this style so they aren't grabbing onto things. Just slight little scratches here. And then I can see some pretty big dents right there. And we'll get to that later. Coming around the side, obviously the mud flap and this piece of trim here came off. These mud flaps hang way too far down, basically catch on everything. So I'm probably going to leave them off and just keep this piece of trim mounted there. We can see these rock sliders took some serious impacts. That is scraped pretty good there. A lot of scratches here, but no serious impacts. It's all out here on the side. Unlike on a Jeep, these have to come out flat because the door comes down so far. It would have been nice if Land Rover had made the doors where they started up here and then opened and then the rock slider could angle up and be up in this area but the door comes all the way down it's a very tall door and that makes it not a very good off-road feature i guess my thoughts right now if i were to try to improve this would be to make the rock slider not come out quite as far then it wouldn't catch quite as many things it doesn't look like it from this angle, but the rock sliders do only stick out the same distance as the tires are, so they don't stick out too far there. Now moving back in the center of the vehicle. The skid plate has a pretty good dent in it right there. And you can see the tearing in the skid plate because it's aluminum. The rocks grab onto it and then start to tear it instead of slide along them. Not too much damage. I think this is okay. Don't really see much damage at all back here. Just minor little scratches. Exhaust looks just fine. It's a little scratch right there. Here we can see how the lower control arm rock sliders were working. There is a ton of mud just caked onto there would have been grabbing into the hole that's in that lower control arm if the skid plate wasn't there. They don't look too scratched up though, so I don't think they were hitting rocks or other obstacles. Here's the one on the other side. It also was scraping against the dirt pretty good. It was getting jammed up in between the skid plate and the lower control arm. Looks like the center differential was high enough that nothing even touched it at all. 
just the tiniest of marks right here on the exhaust. Just some faint, tiny scratches here on the muffler. And on the back, it didn't even hit the trailer receiver. So it looks like everything back here is sitting at a pretty good angle. Just the faintest of marks where something had touched it right there. And here's the rock slider on the other side. You can see it's also very scratched up along the edge here. So it looks like the main issues are the rock sliders hitting and the skid plate below the transmission. And the easiest way to solve that, I think, would be getting the Land Rover taller, whether that's with bigger tires or changing the suspension so that you have more lift in the suspension. Surprisingly, I was pretty concerned about the wheels. I don't see any scratches on them. There's none on this one. Here's the rear one on the left side. It looks fine. The rear one on the right side. Don't see any scratches, just dirt. And the front one on the right side also looks good. You can see plenty of marks on the tires where they were rubbing on things, but didn't get to the wheels. So I'm pretty impressed with these 19 inch wheels. I thought this low profile would be a big problem. In fact, I was a little afraid with the things that I was doing that I might even puncture one of these tires, but that didn't happen. I have some ideas on how to solve some of these issues, but that will have to wait till next time.